Right, everybody, we are closing in on season two. We have got a couple of fantastic episodes coming up. There's going to be a special end of Premier League episode on Wednesday night, 9pm. So make sure you check out the channel for that. But today is all about Champions League semi-final. We have, of course, Liverpool home and away for a place in the final. They beat us, remember, last year in the Champions League. So a bit of redemption today in DNA. All right, boys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to DNA. And today, as I said, it is Liverpool. First leg at home, second leg away. We've got a game in between against Stoke. I'm going to play that off camera. It's home against, uh, as I said, Stoke, bottom of the league as well. So hopefully we can do a full rotation, which may be a risk because we are second in the Premier League, two points behind Spurs. Now our goal difference, as you can see, is an extra point. Already scored 93 Goals. Now, in the last seven games, I don't want to concede more than 37. That's the plan. So, if no more than four goals conceded would be good, highly unlikely that's going to happen. Because our running, which will be on Wednesday, we've got Liverpool-Stoke, Liverpool today. We've then got Fulham that I'll play off camera. Wednesday night episode will be a triple header. It will be Liverpool at home in the league, Tottenham away in the league and Manchester City away in the league. What an episode that will be. And then we've got an FA Cup final against Liverpool, so that'll be on Sunday. We may even have a Champions League final. It's it's busy. It's busy, but it's bloody good. Now, now form-wise has been all right. We've kind of done this diamond and swapping in between the double box and stuff like that, but we're going to stick with the diamond today. Um, we've done a little bit of rotation just to get us through what has been a really busy few months now. There's been, obviously, where were we last episode? It was the uh, ooh, Atletico, won it? We responded, we won the second leg 3-0. We've then played Lazio. We've got a decent draw for a quarterfinal, winning 4-0 at home and 2-1 uh, away. We played a really rotated squad as well in the second game. Um, beat Manchester City 3-0 in the FA Cup. We lost to Leeds United in the league and we've lost to West Ham in the league. So it's opened up the title race a fair bit. You others can't catch us. Liverpool, to be fair, early on, yeah, I suppose if they beat us, 62, yeah, I suppose they I suppose they maybe still consider themselves in it, but they've got a lot of, a lot of ground to make up in terms of games as well. Everyone has played that right, 33. We're going to have a really, really busy... Now, I think the thing... That stands in our favour is that we're really strong. The squad is really strong. So in particular, the game against Stoke, in between the two Liverpool games today, we can afford to do a, probably a complete rotation or very close to. OK, but for today, a few Philippe's not 100%. Magu uh, Fernandez isn't 100%, which is a little bit of a shame. But we're going to stick with probably our strongest lineup. to be fair. Um, Henderson, Wambasaka, Varane, Philippe, Shaw, McTominay, Bellingham, Fernandez, Sancho, Lewandowski, Ronaldo, Lewandowski. Got a bit of jibes on even on Twitter. He scored 33 goals in 43 games. Yes, he's on 500k a week. I appreciate that. But remember, we lost Pogba at whatever he was on. What was he on? Like 300. Cavani was on 250. There you go. We've made 50 grand a week profit getting rid of those two and getting him in 33 goals in 43 games. And then Ronaldo... 36 in 41, 24 and 28 in the league. He's got one more year left with us as well. So, um, yeah, we'll talk about transfers in a couple of episodes time and we'll go through the DNA because what we are going to do this summer is we're going to get rid of players that aren't meeting our DNA requirements. So there'll be maybe a few more players on the way out. OK, here we go. So Liverpool are going with Alisson, Fabinho at centre-half. Van Dijk, Robertson, Henderson, Lewis Cook, Cater, they've got Gabriel Jesus, Mane, Firmino, Roman Yoli on the bench, Young on the bench, Yotta on the bench, Juan Bernat on the bench. Some weird signings there. I've just told them to go out and have fun. OK, we need a considerable lead. I want two goals, two goal advantage. Naby Cater's already injured for them as well. Picked up a little knock, thigh injury. They may have to do an early change. Right, first highlight of the game, 25 minutes in. Bellingham picks it up. Back to Philippe, who goes then back to Henderson. Lewandowski's going to pick that up nicely. We've got two runners. Sancho, he may find Ronaldo on the next pass. No, nope, he's got himself. He's found Bellingham. Into Fernandez. Shoots from distance. It was a, a team effort. It wasn't an absolute thunderbolt. Alisson tips it over. We've got a corner, though. Fernandez with it. 
Ronaldo's underneath it and it's just cleared. Are they going to break now? Gabriel Jesus. Okay, half time. One highlight in the half. They've only had one shot with an XG of 0.05. It is very cagey. We're on top, but we're not creating those clear chances yet. They've brought on Curtis Jones. Caton made it all the way to the half time. We've got options on the bench. Fernandez is really struggling. We're going to have to take him off, you know. Oh, as Ronaldo fires is in front. 15 seconds into the second half. What a strike. For all you people in the comments that are digging me for Ronaldo and Lewandowski, the two have combined here. Ronaldo on his left foot as well. Absolutely smashes it into the top corner. Them two are going to be my strike force for next season. We're not going to think about replacing them two till season four. Right, we need to do a change in the middle of midfield though because Fernandez is really struggling. So what we're going to do is we're going to put Kamara in. Kamara's a halfback. McTominay is the box-to-box. -box. Bellingham as the Mazala. That just gives us the opportunity to be a little bit more solid in there actually. Okay, Sancho with it. It's a deep one. Ooh, Kamara, I think it was. It was underneath it. Going to give him a praise as we've taken control of the tie. I'd like to get another goal if we can, though, boys. They've only had two efforts on goal, Liverpool. They're definitely going to come at us in the second leg, though, aren't they? OK, Bellingham is struggling. Let's get Gavi on. And we're going to take Lewandowski off. And we're going to go Rashford just for a little bit of pace up there towards the end of the game. That's for a little focus. It hasn't been... Oh, I was just about to say it hasn't been an absolute barnstorming performance. Only a few highlights and we've just hit the bar there. It's going to be 1-0, isn't it? We're taking a slender. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <gasps> God, I thought that was going in. Camera angle. Oh, what are they doing here? Cook. Oh, Luke Shaw, man. Dear me. Penalty awarded in the 91st minute. This is their, pretty much their first effort on goal. Their first noticeable effort. It was their first attacking highlight, wasn't it? And they've put it in. It's 1-1. Gabriel Jesus. And uh, we have not even got a lead going to Anfield in the second leg. And we've absolutely bossed the game. Pretty much like Man United of old this. Well, the current Man United, should I say. Dominating games, especially in the first half. Not taking the chances. And then being penned back late on. As Rashford is in. Rashford is in! He's put it in. I thought he was going to dink the goalkeeper. He didn't. And he's run through and slotted it in in the 94th minute. We have a winner. Marcus Rashford has given us a lead. Now, Liverpool do... Do we go still count Champions League? Because I know they were kind of getting rid of them, but I don't know if it's in the game. Yeah, there's no way goals now. Woo! Right, we've deserved that, though, boys. We've deserved that. Right, we're going to play on. We're going to do the Stoke game off camera. We're going to come back for the second leg. Right, boys, and we're back. Um, we're playing Chelsea. If we win today and we get through, we're actually playing Chelsea. The other semi-final, I didn't realise, was Chelsea-Arsenal. So it's been four English clubs in the semi-final. We've just played... We've had a good weekend. We've just played Stoke with our second team, 8-0. They are terrible. Their lineup was pretty shocking. It was very much a championship lineup. The yellow, Rashford hat-tricks, uh, Joe Hugo getting on the score sheet, three assists for Gavi. All came together really nicely. Everyone was rotated and, and rested. So it gives us the full opportunity to really go at it today with a pretty much players that have had a week's rest. And, best thing, Tottenham got beat 2-0 at home to West Ham. Liverpool won 4-0, so they're still sniffing around and that'll be an interesting episode on Wednesday night in terms of the Premier League season. But let's see if we can get through to the final. Let's see if we can take a, a cheeky 1-0 will do. So that was the lineup from last time. Last game, so as you can see, a lot of changes. I tell a lie, nine changes because we had to keep Scott McTominay in there because uh, Kamara was uh, suspended and we kept Henderson in goal. Philippe is injured, so Maguire is going to come in. Sancho, Ronaldo, Lewandowski, Fernandez, and uh, Fernandez and Bellingham in the middle. Scott McTominay sitting. Let's get Kamara on the bench though. Let's get Diallo on the bench because he had a brilliant impact. So we'll go with Henderson, Shaw. Do we go with Windal? Yeah, let's go with Windal. Just purely based on what Luke Shaw did. So we go Wamba, Zaka, Varane, Maguire, Windal, uh, McTominay, Bellingham, Fernandez, Sancho, Lewandowski, and Ronaldo. We need to get the lot on the bench, don't we? Let's get, we don't need goalkeepers, do we? In football manager on the bench, we never need goalkeepers. Right, are we going to see a different Liverpool in this game? There is no Mo Salah. He must be injured. I've never, I never picked up on it before. Well, he's injured. He's injured. Not a bad injury to have. Right, here we go. Are Liverpool going to turn up today? We need to make sure we turn up today. Chelsea in the final as well. We wanted to play like a PSG or a Real Madrid. Ideally. 
But let's see if we can get through today first. 15 minutes into the game, we've had 30% possession. So Liverpool are coming out the traps more than what they did in the home leg. So in the first leg. They've not created anything of yet. They have got a free kick though. Robertson, Gomez, absolute free header. Free header. Dear me. What's going on? Right, highlight straight after the goal. Luckily, there's no way goal. So it's all tied. 2-2 two, two each. Fernandez is in though. He's in. Oh, he's rounded him nicely. He put it in. What a response. We've absolutely sucker punched Liverpool again. What a pass from Bellingham. Great run from Fernandez as well. Break from midfield. I love these late runs. These midfield runs. Off he goes. Mazzala on attack, boys. And it's a lovely finish. Rounding the goalkeeper. Liking that in FM22. A little bit more variation when players go through on goal. Right, we've, we've nicked an equaliser to wedge us 3-2 in front. Can we defend the corner a little bit better this time? No, we haven't. Jesus Christ. I think that was Virgil van Dijk who hit the bar. They've got another corner. Pressure on. Windal gets that away. It's going to come back at us. Good tackle from Bellingham. They've still got it. Gabriel Jesus. Henderson. Jesus. Watch the runs. Keita's there. Good tackle. They've got a man over. Robertson's going to get it. Can we defend? Maguire smashes it clear. <laughs> Alexander-Arnold. Man is there and he's guided it into the corner and it is 2-1, 3-3 on aggregate. Man is 30th of the season. What a season for Mane. We just didn't get the ball out, did we? It's a brilliant header from Mane, to be fair. Two headers on this right hand side though. Aaron Wan Basaka. I'm not happy with that. Okay, we've made it in at half time. I'm gonna give him a telling off. We've not seen much of Ronaldo and Lewandowski. We need to give them more. We've had eight shots, though. Right, we're going to have to do some changes because we've got a couple of people struggling. McTominay's on a yellow, so let's get Kamara on. And Windal is struggling. So Luke Shaw is on. The one who gave away that penalty in the first leg. Fernandez, Bellingham are all struggling. How are they? We've just given our boys a full week's rest. Maybe we're working them too hard in the game. Right, Robertson. Asking them to do too much running. Keita. We could be in trouble here. Good tackle from Maguire. Can we get it? Can we get it, boys? And break? No. Robertson. So cross. We're in trouble. We're in big, big trouble. Who the bloody hell is he? Okay, so we're going with a 4-2-4. Four, four. Wash, Washford. Washford. Rashford is on. On the left-hand side for Bruno Fernandes, who was about dead. See if we can score... A goal in these remaining, what? We've got probably close to 20 minutes. We've not played well. Can we create something? We've had nothing, nothing since that Bruno Fernandes goal. And nothing again. Nothing again. 15 minutes we've pretty much played there, boys. And nothing. I don't think we can make another change. Okay, last few minutes. I've changed it around a little bit. I've told them to go long. We've got Bellingham in behind and we've given away a free kick. More free time for them. We've had an absolute stinger. Stinger? <laughs> absolute stinker. Bernat with the free kick. Cross. Oh, was that a penalty? It looked like it was. And Keita heads over. Come on. Can we create something? Highlight, boys. We've not had anything since that Bruno Fernandes goal. Shocking from us. And it's going to come back, isn't it? We're not getting there. We're not getting there. I thought it was going to be a highlight for us. And it's not. Young on this left-hand side. So, at the moment, is the match winner. We're, they're getting first. They're getting seconds. Ronaldo's not even looking at the ball. <laughs> Jesus. Alexander-Arnold. Jesus. It's going to be a goal. We've defended so well there. And it's coming back again. The amount of times the ball's come back at us again today, boys. Alexander Arnold crosses, Varane, Fabino, just everything went to them then, didn't it? They won everything. Right, Bernat with it. Virgil van Dijk's hit the post. We've been absolutely battered again by Liverpool in the Champions League. They've done us in the final. They've done us in the semi-final. And at the moment, we are looking at no more than a domestic double again. That is really disappointing. Absolutely battered in the second leg, boys. Absolutely battered. Okay, so that leaves it just remaining for the double. So Wednesday's episode, boys, Wednesday's episode will be 
Liverpool, Tottenham and City in the league. And then we'll play Liverpool, Aston Villa and Wolves on next Sunday's episode to finish off season two. Well, also Sunday's episode may be a big one because obviously we need to look at where we need to rebuild. Oh, boys, that's an absolute... Absolute heartbreaker. Right, thanks for watching. Make sure you smash a like on today's video for me. Much appreciated. Remember, next episode of DNA, special on Wednesday night. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when the video drops. Cheers, guys. Take care. See you later.